As John Hammond realized his vision for Jurassic Park, his competitors began to see the potential of InGen's work. One of their main rivals, Biosyn, looked to close the gap by stealing the advantages that InGen and Dr. Wu had worked so hard to gain. To do this, they would need someone on the inside. So they enlisted a disgruntled computer engineer named Dennis Nedry. A plan was devised to steal InGen's dinosaur embryos with an inconspicuous canister created to house the precious commodity. Nobody really knows what happened that fateful night. What is certain is that Dennis Nedry and the samples were never seen again. Biosyn had failed. Unfortunately, so too had Hammond's dream. Decades later, businessman Simon Mizrani tried again, this time succeeding in delivering Hammond's vision to the world. Tragically, things didn't go as planned. Biosyn was waiting for its time, and they found it in the aftermath of Jurassic World's downfall. Now, led by Lewis Dodgson, a new era was dawning. While we don't know what the future holds, history has a habit of repeating itself. Just look at it. It's beautiful. We are so close to realizing Biosyn's dream, one that InGen could never achieve. Once we get dinosaurs here, it will be perfect. A perfect display of evolution. Luck favors the bold. We were prepared. Now we need to finish the job. Give me the latest on the animals. We're isolated, which makes for a challenging landscape. We are still at a disadvantage until we understand more about this ecosystem and how our new friends will adapt to it. We need more information and time. The last thing we want is for them to not adapt and die. Oh, they'll adapt. I believe that. They adapted to two parks and a few islands. They're adapting now. They'll be just fine. Just get them here. I'm not sure we are totally ready to understand everything we need to. Just get them here. Leave the rest up to Mother Nature and me. I guess what they say is true. It's location, location, location. More than you realize, this is perfect. Keeps us away from the public's prying eyes and keeps the political do-gooders at arm's length. To think what InGen had and fumbled away. They never saw the bigger picture. All dinosaur and zero business. That is where Biosyn wins. We bring a balance that InGen never understood. We see the whole picture. Okay, what's our next step? I don't want to waste any time getting this going. Well, it all starts with a control center. Remember, it needs to be connected to the Hyperloop network. All right, then. Get started. Everything's in place for us to get our new research compound constructed. Great. Then we can focus on getting it operational.
Isaac, update? Everything is going to plan. We should have the research we need shortly. Great. Carry on. Okay, that did it. We have access to the core facilities research. Great. Our vision is coming together of each building we get operational. We just need to ensure we can handle all the dinosaurs when they arrive. I think we can do that. It's all starting to come together, just as we envisioned. We are leaving InGen in our dust. Well, I will give them some credit. They did resurrect the dinosaurs from extinction. Uh, sure, through a rushed agenda and lazy science. We're doing it right. Their failures were our education. We won't be making the same mistakes Hammond and his team made. InGen always fell in love with their own wonder. They wanted to prove to the world that they could do it. Once they did, they wanted to showcase them as circus freaks and rub our faces in it. They didn't get it. Evolution is not just DNA and frogs. It also happens in business to advance the world. Think of what we will bring to the world. Think of what we will bring to humanity. New medicines, biotechnology, beauty products, you name it, we will own it. I want to see a functioning facility. That is the only way we can secure the dinosaur survival. Absolutely, we'll get it done. See that you do. A lot is riding on it. We've been authorized to expand our team, specifically scientists. Look over the candidates and let's add some to our operation. Exciting news. 
We're closing in on some exclusive biosyn tech. Invisible fencing. It'll secure the animals while removing the traditional man-made constructs that have surrounded their environments. So, no visible barrier between us and the dinosaurs? That sounds terrifying. Uh, 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 the more these animals believe they are not in cages, the healthier they will be. Yeah, that will make them easier to care for. I think we'd better place some research outposts as well. We can observe our animals safely from there. You know, it's bad enough that dinosaurs never knew what a fence was until we placed them around them. But what if they become dependent on them to feel safe? At least they could see a barrier between us and them. How are they even going to trust their environment with invisible fences? How are they even going to know where they are? Oh, believe me, they'll feel it if they try to cross one. Yeah, that. I don't know. Look, it feels like we're messing with them and how comfortable they'll be in their environment. You're concerned about fences? The dinosaurs never saw a human before either, and that hasn't stopped us. Isaac, we've got an issue. We're in need of more power. How close are we to maximum output? Already there. We won't be able to hold much longer. Then we'll need to research how to get more. Upgraded power stations is the way forward. Let's get to it. Before we go any further, there's something I want from you. Through my connections, I've arranged for a number of dinosaurs to be delivered here to our facility. They're coming all the way from Isla Sorna, so you'll have some time to prepare for their arrival. I'm confident you won't let me down. They're going to need enclosures, secure enclosures. Safety is essential for them and us. And we have to get this right. We don't need another Ingen or Masrani incident. Absolutely. We will do better. We'll keep you safe. Acknowledged.
Transportation underway. Asset in transit. Transporting asset. Delivery. Delivery has been completed. transported. Asset has been collected. Asset transportation underway. Asset has been collected. Asset transportation underway. Asset delivery confirmed. Asset transportation complete. Asset has been transported. It looks like the enclosures are ready. We need to make these habitats as desirable for the dinosaurs as we can. Transportation complete. Ramsey, I've been going through the data, and I think we can make some real progress if we get a research outpost connected to our Hyperloop. Yeah, makes sense to me. Awesome. Then let's make it happen. Without proper security, we slip into the same chaos that brought down our rivals. But our Ranger team should be capable of maintaining order. We'll set up the necessary patrols. Yeah. 
I don't have to remind you, remote monitoring can only go so far. Of course. We'll get right on it. Have you ever heard the phrase, you are victims of your own success? Because, gentlemen, that's where you find yourselves. Both of you. I'm not sure I follow. It means we're doing our job, so we can take on even more. Whatever the challenge, we're ready. Then welcome to the Biosyn Genetics Research Compound Phase 3. This will allow us to continue expanding our genetic engineering division and take our operations to the next level. Biosyn is counting on you. More importantly, I am counting on you. We need perfect genetic samples for the best outcome. That is something Piosin will write a check for. Yeah, but we're not yet in control. We're dependent on others until we get in a position to send out our own expeditions. And I don't like being unable to control the outcome of something. Yes, but once this research is done, we'll be able to send out our own expeditions. We should be in a better place around our samples. If we own and control it, it's better for Biosyn. And you. Okay, we are ready to build an expedition center. Don't forget, we'll need a fossil center too. Understood. These buildings will put Biosyn at the cutting edge of bioengineering. My understanding is that we're ready to send out a team? That's correct. Good. I want you to start with an amber mining expedition. This valley wasn't chosen by accident. This area is rich with amber. And I intend for Biosyn to exploit that. Insects trapped in prehistoric tree sap. That is what we need. This is where our dinosaurs begin. This amber is going to be the time capsule that links us back to the era of the dinosaurs. It's a window to the past. And worth billions. Ramsey, have our scientists extract what they can from the fossils. That'll increase our genome diversity. Yes, on it. And what is the end goal of this? To do the impossible. Again.
That's it. We've had a breakthrough. An entirely new genome. So what you're saying is we've discovered a new dinosaur? One we've never seen before? Sort of. It is incredible, but it's not actually a dinosaur per se. It's a prehistoric synapsid called Dimetrodon. Huh. Did Hammond have one of these? I don't believe so. Perfect. A Biosyn exclusive. This DNA is only part of the puzzle, though. We still need to build a hatchery and then synthesize this new breed. Once we've done that, we can incubate and release them. I can't wait. Mm. 